Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School and I'm back down here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. I'm doing some prep. We got a class coming up this weekend, gathering next week, classes the next two or three weeks back to back after that. But I try to squeeze stuff in midweek for you guys to give you guys a few teaching lessons along the way in case you can't get to the school, can't get to the gathering or something like that. It's my way of giving back. So what I want to talk about today is a little bit of addition to the cordage management system video. If you watch that video, it talks about how to manage the cordage that you're carrying in your kit so that you can have proper lengths of cordage already set up in the proper way so that they're easy to use and that you can tell what they are even in the dark. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk about an improved method of hanking that cordage. And I think you're gonna enjoy it. So stay with me and we'll get started guys. What I wanna show you today is an improved method to hank your cordage. A normal hank of cordage looks similar to this. This is one of my utility lines with a toggle on it, bowling on one end and stopping on the other. And normally you finish off that hank with a half hitch on the coil. But a lot of times what will happen because of that half hitch is when you pull this line out, which is the reason you hank your cordage so it doesn't tangle up. But when you do this, you're going to end up at the end of this thing with a second knot in your cordage because that half hitch became a second knot. Now you have an unwanted knot in your cordage. So what we're going to talk about today is a way to alleviate that and make your cordage a little bit neater in the process. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hank this cordage up a little differently. Everything's going to start out exactly the same. The only thing different is at the end. So we're going to drop the working end of that line between our pinky and our ring finger. We're going to do figure eights around our pinky and our thumb, just like this, to take up most of that cordage, leaving ourselves a little bit of tail to work with. The tail needs to be coming out the same end as the working end. We're going to pull that coil off our hand and start to wrap backwards up the coil away from the working end to take up that slack. Now, at this point, when you get to the end, this is where you would normally come around that last time and put a half hitch in that cordage, just like this. And that is where you get that second knot from. Because you actually put a knot in the line, and when you pull all of these coils out from this barrel coil, you have a knot that you've created. There's a way to alleviate that. What you do is you take this last piece of tail and instead of putting it into a half hitch, what you're going to do is you're gonna open up these loops that you've made here, just like this. And you're going to take that line and feed a bite of it through those loops. So you've got the bite and the stop knot. And all you're going to do now is you're gonna take one of these coils, it doesn't matter which one, and you're going to pull it down on top of that bite, just like that. So now, this loop and this loop are approximately the same size and I can hang my cordage very neatly from whatever my system is I'm managing my cordage. In this case, it's a carabiner and it's hanging there neat and tidy. When I want that off of there and I want to use it, all I'm going to do now is pull the stop knot out and then pull from the front. All of that cordage is going to come undone and there won't be any knots in that cordage except that last stop knot that we put in it to begin with. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you joining me out here today for this quick video on how to improve the hanking of your cordage. I try to squeeze some videos in when I can that are just quick and dirty lessons. I know they're not long videos, but I think they're important, quick lessons that people can watch in just a few minutes on their phone and get something out of it. I think that's important. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for my school, for my family, for my business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And to me, Every view is a blessing. So I appreciate what you guys do for me all the time and the support you've given me over the last 15 years. I'm coming up on the anniversary of Bushcraft 101's 10-year anniversary. It's still number one on Amazon, has been number one on Amazon for 10 years straight, and is a two-time New York Times bestseller. So if you haven't read Bushcraft 101 in the last 10 years, go check it out. You can download an Audible, you can download it as an ebook, or you can buy a hard copy of the book as well on Amazon, from my Amazon store, from Self-Reliance Outfitters, or directly from Amazon. It really doesn't matter to me as long as you buy the book. Thanks, guys.